everybody, it's Justin from Outlaw Euro, and we're back with another video here. Today, we're gonna be taking off the intake plenums off this S85. There's a lot of reasons to take them off. Most common ones are throttle body actuators, thermostat, then throttle bodies. All right, so first step to removing the plenums, we have to take this cowling off. So I'm gonna take this rubber piece off just pulls off pretty easy. Set that to the side. Now we're gonna take this off. There's a little tab back here. Lift that, push it back. This piece comes off. Now we have to take the cabin filter boxes off on each side. And there's a little metal clip here. Just gotta pop that. And on the passenger side, there's these two sensors to unplug. And set the wire into the side. Now it's a good time to remove the debris also. All right, so we have one of the plastic fasteners here in the middle and also on that side. So we're just gonna loosen those up. And then we can lift them off. You also have this rubber piece here. Set these to the side. Oh, no. And even though this has got infinity intakes, same procedure, even if it has the factory air boxes. So the next step is gonna to be to take off the intake couplers on both sides. And both clamps have six millimeter heads on them. helps to compress the couplers, slide right out. All right, so both plenums are gonna have two vacuum hoses, this one here, and I don't know if you can see, but there's a smaller one there behind it. So we need to remove those from both plenums. And next is the fun part, the throttle body clamps. This is where I mentioned earlier the DIYs that have 
whole bunch of varying size screwdrivers or all sorts of different tools. What we use is this one setup. Quarter inch ratchet, the couple extensions, one of them being a wobble, so you have the adjustability in the middle and then a six mil socket. All right, so we'll start with the passenger side. Try to show you guys here. Cylinder number one. We can get right through there. Let's see here. All right, so there's one. And then cylinder two. We can get right through here. You can see. There's the head of the clamp for cylinder two. This work is kind of hard to show you. Under here. Are the clamps for three and four. And then on the back side, if you move some of this stuff out of the way, it's got a little bit extra wiring because it's got the E85 kit on it. Right through there. And you can see the head of the clamp for cylinder five. It's the same deal on the driver's side, but we'll get to that here. First, we'll get all the passenger side clamps loose. There's cylinder one. There's cylinder two. Cylinder five. All right, with all the intake boots loose on this side, we still have to undo this. Part of the wiring harness connects to the back of the passenger plenum right here. So basically just gotta get it to lift up and over the clip. And then there's also a couple vacuum lines. They go to each plenum in the back. You just squeeze them and pull them off. Let's get those disconnected real quick. So on that one, I had to squeeze it and then use the screwdriver and pry it down at the same time. But that tube did come off. 
And there we have some independent throttle bodies. One put them off. With the coolant recovery tank out of the way, we can see that this bank cylinders three and four, which actual cylinders are eight and nine, are right there and easy to get to. And then this bank cylinder five, which is actually cylinder 10 is very easy to get to. So we'll finish getting the throttle body clamps off for this side. Driver side off. All right, so the plums are off. At this point, you can do whatever repair you need to do. The throttle body actuators are right underneath there. And then the thermostat is right here. So it should seat really easily like that. You shouldn't have to be hitting it or anything like that to get to seat on the throttle bodies. If you're doing that, then you're doing something wrong. But we'll leave the clamps on that side loose while we get the passenger side ready. Now we can get the plenum on. What we're gonna be looking for is making sure they're all seated completely against this ledge right here on the throttle bodies. Like I said, if you have to push on them or really put any type of heavy force on them, there's something not right. So, also when I was putting it on, since you guys saw, I did the front hose. Because if you don't do that, it won't go on all the way. And then be sitting there trying to fight with that. And then also did the back vacuum hose. And obviously on the passenger side, I've got that plastic electrical piece over the back of the plenum. Then as I was seating it, got this in a position in the front. Now that can be seated all the way. We can tighten up all the clamps.
put the coolant recovery tank back in. Now we'll put the factory intake couplers on. Use the same six mil to tighten them up. Now we can put the factory cowling on. All right guys, it's all back together. It's a pretty simple job, one of the easier ones on an S85. But if you found this useful, push the like and subscribe button and we'll bring more S85 content.